Tonight's fight was speed, and um, I think the punch stats pretty much told the story of the fight, that Glenn gave a good effort, but there was just not enough there uh, tonight to compete with a, a very fast, very talented young fighter. Um, before I, I, I turn it over to Glenn, I just want to say something. I, I, I'm a big fan of Chad Dawson. I think what he was doing in the ring uh, in terms of science was tr some tremendous boxing. That being said, I'll tell you what I said to Chad in the dressing room. You got the ability to be one of the pound for pound best in the world. You have the ability to be a superstar, but you got to lay it all out there a little bit more. And you got to be a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more pleasing because that's what the people want. And you got the ability to be the best. And I congratulate you and I wish you the best of luck moving forward. Thank you. And, uh, and I want to turn it over to a man that still will beat 95 to 99% of the light heavyweights in the world, even at his advanced age. And he's a man that makes all of us in our 40s proud, the road warrior, Glenn Johnson. Um, I just want to say thank to everyone that turned out. Um, it, it was a, 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 a great boxing match. I believe that everyone that came out to see um, entertaining boxing should be pleased. Um, Chad Dawson, he boxed. He moved and he, he keep turning and and he was able to to escape some of my um, bigger punches and um, you know he used his leg uh, he didn't try to fight uh, like he fought the first time he basically um, just stayed away from me um, a, a lot of what Lou said about Darcy he, he have a lot of boxing skills but he doesn't. Uh, take much chances, but again, um, you know, they make a, a, a big deal about that I have a head of a chin and all of these things, but I never got hit up my chin, so I don't know if I have a good chin or not. I, I, I believe I have a great defense, um, but far as the chin thing, I don't know about that because I believe for your chin to be tested, you have to get hit on it, you know what I mean? And you know, you can go back and watch the tape in slow mo or anything you want to do. The evidence is there. Um, uh, uh, you know, look at me, I'm still cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're cute though. Glenn <laughs> Johnson had a hell of a chin. I mean, he only been stopped once in his whole career and helped up and not happened. That was a long time ago. I mean, I wasn't really thinking about knocking Glenn Johnson out. I, mean, I, I just I wanted to go in and, 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 and put on a good boxing match, you know, and that's what I did. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in facing anybody, you know. Roy, he's been doing pretty good lately, you know, after a couple of losses, you know. He's been on the game doing what he had to do, winning fights. I mean, I would love that fight, you know. Roy's a great fighter. I mean, I take nothing away from him, but, you know, like I said, I'm not ready for anybody. There's nobody in the world with 40-year-old legs that's beating this kid. Come on. Dude, there's not. You know. Look. <laughs> Don't discourage them. <laughs> hey, no one would want to see the Hopkins fight more than me. <laughs> Gary, what are your plans for uh, Angulo now? Well, Angulo's going back to my house in New Jersey. He told me, <laughs> can't get rid of this dog. Uh, we finally got a paper train, so we're happy about that. But uh, I want to fight him on the West Coast. I mean, I've walked through Staples with him, and people go nuts for Angulo and we fought in Florida now, fought here, um, we fought in, in Vegas just recently. I'd like to put his next fight in California and probably uh, realistically he'll fight either in March or April. Actually both fighters realistically will probably fight right around April. We, you know, we have the Olymp we have the Super Bowl, then we have the Olympics and you know HBO needs to avoid those those dates, you know, those sports. So I would say right after the Olympics, you'll see both Dawson in the ring and Angulo, probably this time in, in different places. Yes? Um, question for Alfredo. Um, how important was it for you to get a win like this on HBO after your last loss on HBO? Or Simo? ¿Qué tan importante fue este gane después de la... de la... Fue... Fue muy... Fue muy importante... It was a very important win. En, en, en HBO, yo voy a tener una pelea antes en, en agosto, donde la derrota ante Cintrón. Sería, 
uh, previous fight in August where he won also and uh, you know he, he felt great about that but it wasn't an HBO and this time it wasn't. He was very happy about that. Así que creo yo que, que le mostramos a, a la gente, a los fanáticos del perro. And that he, you know, he demonstrated that to the fans and uh, that uh, Perro's back and he's ready to for anything. ¿Te gustaría una revancha con, con Cintron? Yes, get in English. Well, would he like a rematch with Cintron? He's more than willing to fight him, and uh, you know he was ready even today after this fight to to give him a shot. So he, any time, he's ready for Cintron. Who who would he like next? Que qué le gustaría después de esta pelea? Yo nunca, nunca, nunca busco a los peleadores, el que se encarga de eso, es, es, es Gary, yo no tengo ningún problema con enfrentar a, a quien sea, en las 154 libras. He's, uh, he's not the one who chooses the fighters, he's ready to fight anyone, and uh, Gary's in charge of that, so he's ready to go anytime they call. Pero, pero dijeron que <laughs> estaban buscando un pleito con Julio César Chávez Jr., no te parece mejor contra Sergio Martinez? Que sería una pelea en Los Ángeles. A fight against Sergio Martinez would be yeah, well, good. Let me end. Sergio Martinez is not a big fight for for Petto. I mean, there are big fights. If Margarito gets relicensed, mm -hmm. Chavez Jr. will not. I'll, I'll be long. He'll have a new promoter. I'll be long dead when Chavez Jr. fights him. You know, he's scared. He's a myth. You know, so he'll never fight. But there, there are fights out there for him. I, I'd like to get my orga back. You know, last time we were supposed to fight him, he took off on us. And there are other fighters. I'm planning a, a big show with another promoter in Los Angeles. I'm just working on it, and I don't want to talk about it now because Pedro will be calling me every day, three times a day, asking me about it. So. <laughs> rather do it and then just break the news.